key and low die, part of low die. And um, as you can see, uh, this is the entrance coming into the property. Um, and this is the uh, house. It's four bedroom, three four bar, already completely remodeled the interior. And, uh, but today focus is not about the house, about the vineyard. It's about the uh, grapevine. And uh, I just want to show you that uh, it's almost like 23 acres. As you can see, the property line is the fence over there. So this is just like open space. Um, leave it for the new owner, you know, um, to design, to use, you know, as they please. Uh, they can make it into anything they want. So here it's a horse arena. So uh, people who like racing, you know, uh, horses, they can do the uh, training and um, you know um, all the places there uh, reserved for a uh, horse because uh, that how the previous owner used the property for. And this is the property here at the house. Uh, as I said, so today we could show it from the outside because we want to focus on the grape wine. And um, so this is the back. As you can imagine, your backyard is the vineyard. And uh, as you can see, it's all the way over there. So this part of the property, and the vineyard is all about uh, 15 acres. So uh, part of it over there, uh, they call uh, tenant. The uh, variety is for red wine. And also over here on this side, it, uh, Petite Seras is also red wine. And um, these grapes are already producing, so we'll talk more about it when we you know, talk about the grape production. But uh, one key note for this video is to answer a lot of people questions about uh, can I buy this property if I don't know anything about you know, uh, farming, about you know, vineyard. So the answer is yes, absolutely yes, because you don't have to do anything as a farm owner, but it's your choice. You can do it yourself if you want to, but there are always, you know, a good farm management companies there, not one, there's a lot of them that will want a job to take care of your farm for a fee. So basically they will take care um, of your farm from A to Z, you don't even have to worry about you know how much water you have to use, how, uh, when you're gonna have the fertilizers, thing like that. So you just leave it up to them, right? And uh, at the end of the seasons, they will give you a report how much is the production, uh, how how many tons they got from the tenant, how many tons they got from the uh, tissera. And, um, and then um, they reimburse the income to you based on what agree upon on the contract. So right now uh, it's $750 uh, per ton. So um, let, let go there and, and see uh, the vineyard. But um, last year alone in 2022, uh, the owner said that um, the production kind of went down a little bit compared to 2021 but uh they still you know got more than uh 100 tons from both varieties so uh let's just say 100 tons you know multiplied by 750 so they got you know uh 75,000 dollars per year so just for the 2022 and they get more uh, they got more than 100 tons the year before and this year you know uh, we just hope that they get more because if they the heat is okay you know the rain is okay uh, everything is right um, you know um, the production only going up each year because the grapevine are still young 
and I was told by the owner that it was just planned, you know, in 2014 or 2011. I'm not sure which year I remember, right? But uh, the point is that these grape wines are still young. They're producing, but each year when they get mature, they uh, produce uh, more and more. And um, I look up a little bit, you know, uh, the peak production age of the grape wine is around 20 to 30 years. So, you know, you, you still have uh, many years that this grape wine gonna continue to produce and then get to the peak production and you get more income, you know, from the vineyard. So let's look at uh, the vineyard, uh, look at the grape wine close up a little bit to see at this stage so they just woke up from the dormancy so uh, look at this a very nice and green and you already see flower buds here and uh, I'm sure a couple more months you will see the fruitlets and then you will see grapes after that so uh, you don't have to know when you're gonna have to you know uh, give the fertilizer uh, when how much water you're gonna have to do it right so that the grape produce you know uh, the way they supposed to for the pig production um, but the farm uh, workers will take care of this you can take the video from there and the property line is the hill over there not this hill but the next hill so you you probably you will need a uh, club you know like uh, you know golf club cart uh, to drive there you cannot walk there you know because it's a little far so let's walk over there and i'll show you the property line on this side so as you can see it's beautiful you know uh, in spring and summer uh, when you come you're gonna see a lot of great hanging there Property line on this side is right there. As you can see, um, there's a, a trail that going this way at the borderline uh, property line there. Yeah. And on the other side is over there, and go all the way in the back. So 22.81 acres and um, you have plenty of space to do whatever you like. You can add a pool, a spa here, uh, tennis court, whatever you like. And uh, this is the well, the agricultural well. So uh, some property here, you know, in this area only have a domestic well. Uh, domestic well is just a small well enough for the household use, but uh, agricultural well is for uh, the whole farm and also will supply the uh, household as well. And um, you don't have to pay for water. You don't have to pay, you know, uh, water for uh, the wind yard because you use the well and um, you only have to pay electricity to uh, run uh, for pump. Uh, that's all, that's about it. So the operation cost is very low after, you know, uh, the management companies take care of the farm for you. So uh, 750 is a net income coming from uh, the uh, farm management company and minor expenses here, you know, like water, things like that. And then uh, the income. You can see um, it's a high level farm. This property is owned, so you don't have to pay monthly fee to have a propane tank on the property, and it's computerized, so it's 
you know it's online so the company would know how low the propane is then they would come and you know uh, supply um, the propane you don't even have to worry about it uh, <laughs> so it's very nice it's good so uh, you want to talk about uh, why we should buy or invest a property you know uh, a farm property such as a vineyard than just buying a you know house for investment or for rental so if you buy a house for rental you got one income right you got rent as your income but if you buy a farm that have a beautiful home like this uh, of course it can be your home but that also it can be the source of income as well so number one you get income from the farm from the vineyard in this situation and you get you know rent from the property if you want to do it long term it is okay but the owner right now is doing short term because they want to still come to stay at the property whenever they want so you can do the same if you don't want to come and live here you know um, all year round you can just come here between you know uh, guests stay and then you get to enjoy um, the vineyard or so but if you said you want to live here it is fine you still get the uh, income from the vineyard to pay your mortgage each uh, month and also uh, it's a good income coming from the property such as this one because my uh, seller uh, put it on verbal and um, it's $450 per night just you know stay here and um, so that is uh, the good investment and it's good for your your bank because uh, yeah like I said if you buy investment property for rental yeah you get one income from from the rent and but you buy farm house you get the income from the farm and also get income from the house two sources of income and not to mention about the equity that you accumulate you know uh, with the house and the 20 2.81 acres of land let's say if the land price go up in the future in the next 10 years or 20 years then this is going to be very expensive and right now it listed for 2.5 and uh, but this can be uh, triple or can be a lot more in the future when you know uh, the land um, is appreciated more and also the equity from them out and the grape uh, continue to producing right because it's each year it's supposed to do more okay so uh, if anyone have any question on buying a vineyard like this one uh, I'm not an expert but uh, by working with clients who uh, you know own farm like this I begin to learn and also look up a little bit so um, I personally think it's a good investment uh, that everyone should look into because you don't just get the rent from um, the house but you also get the income so two sources of income plus you own a big land that will uh, all maybe you know uh, appreciate it in the future as well okay bye bye everyone